Okay, so here's a quick uh, video showing the Oculus Dash. Um, on the left, we have the window from iRacing, and on the right, we have the um, Oculus Mirror output. Um, so by default, I thought they were both showing the left eye, but it turns out the Oculus is showing the right eye, so that shows some of the discrepancies. But even if I switch it, you can use the command line to change the um, eye that it uses. And even using the left eye in both, there's differences. Um, but one of the things is that the um, dash no longer works properly. It doesn't show up in the mirror output if you use the um, left eye. So the way that it works, um, as far as like pinning things like your Twitch chat, um, you have to be running the Oculus Core 2.0 beta version of the Oculus runtime stuff. Uh, but you use your touch controller, hit the little menu button, and you should get a view um, I've already opened the um, desktop once, but if you haven't, you see this sort of view. Hopefully it's showing up on the mirror. Uh, it is. So you go down here to Oculus Desktop. I have my chat and stuff on mirror monitor too. So here you can see your dashboard or your uh, desktop. You can interact with it. Um, and if you grab one of these windows using the middle mouse button, you can then position it where you like in your uh, VR. So I usually like to have it pinned so that the uh, Twitch chat is not in my normal view, but if I want to see it, I just look up. But I also understand that's disturbing or, you know, disorienting for viewers, so your mileage may vary. Um, but that's where the Twitch chat is. That's the normal view. Um, and looking at the performance monitor, uh, which should be at the bottom of the screen as well, um, you really see that the um, Oculus Runtime stuff is not utilizing very much CPU or GPU resources. Um, so it seems to be pretty lightweight. A lot lighter weight than I was expecting. Um, it used to be when I ran uh, other applications like Virtual Desktop in the background, uh, they consumed a lot more resources. So, pretty interesting. So, in a nutshell, um, that's the way that I have the Dash working. I have the Twitch chat in a Chrome browser. Um, and I haven't really experimented with using Firefox or other browsers, but it works pretty straightforward. You can put stuff like your voice attack window, if you wanted to have that um, up to see what's going on. Um, anything that you put in space, you have to hit the little pin uh, to get it so that it stays. Um, and then it'll just be part of your view. So that's how it works. Anyway, uh, thanks.